happening now, jury selection for the trial of Robert Bates. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Karen Larson. I'm Brian Sanders. Bates is the former Tulsa County Reserve deputy who says he mistook his taser for his gun when he shot a suspect during a sting operation. The suspect, Eric Harris, died. Bates is now charged with second degree manslaughter. He has pleaded not guilty. Tomorrow morning, lawyers will start questioning jurors one at a time until 12 are picked for the trial. Two works for your reporter, Joe Hinkie, is live downtown with how that process will work. Joe. Karen and Brian, right now lawyers have 65 of these questionnaires in hand. Today, jurors in the Tulsa County courtroom behind me filled these out. It lets lawyers uh, efficiently get basic information about the jury, which could either eliminate or qualify someone to hear this trial. Now, the pool of jurors will return at 1030 in the morning, and by then, defense lawyers for Robert Bates and the DA's office will have read through all 65 questionnaires and start eliminating jurors uh, to get to a 12-person per jury. Today, I talked with Tulsa defense lawyer lawyer MJ Denman. He's not involved in this case, but he has tried several murder cases in Tulsa. He says he usually sees the prosecution try to qualify jurors who, quote, feel, want to be outraged, want to be angry, someone's who emotions you can get up, end quote. On the defense's side, Denman says he looks for educated jurors who will step back and examine all the evidence. I want jurors who will be conscientious in their deliberations and will be independent of the other panelists. I want them to say, this is what I weighed. It either met my expectations for beyond a reasonable doubt or it didn't. Now, Denman tells me he believes jury selection is the most important part of the trial because it's the one time both the prosecution and the defense are able to interact with the jury. Denman also says jury selection can end up impacting the end of a trial as well. Often lawyers will base their closing arguments off of what they learned about the jury during jury selection as in those closing arguments they're trying to talk directly to the jury. This uh, questionnaire that the jury filled out, we've put that up on kjrh.com. You can check it out there in case you want to read the questions for yourself. Reporting live from the Tulsa County courthouse tonight. Joe Hinkie, two works for you.